Hello and welcome back to the Radical Removans. So, we got a little bit of land last time. Not a lot of land, but just a little bit out here. Um, It's not looking great for us right now, but that's... It's okay. Just need some work. Hmm, gonna move that one there, that one there. What's the supply limit? The supply limit here is fine, except when it becomes winter. I guess. Yeah, so we'll head out to those three. And basically, I'm just going to try and get some more morale back. Uh, not morale back. Um, tr reinforcements for our troops back here. This all... Mm, yeah, you head up there. You're going to head in here. Then you're going to head around here. Yeah, there we go. Reinforcements for our troops back. That's what I was looking for. So basically, the idea here is we're going to reinforce, and then we're just going to do some more wars. There are some troops down here that are fairly reinforced. It might be a good chance to just do a war straight away. Ambition-wise, I'm going to take See the Realm Prosper so we don't get revolt risk while uh, I'm walking over to where we need to go. Right. Now, the problem is also we are losing money and have been losing money for a while. So we'll need to see what we can do about that. And do some blood games. Probably not going to get as much money. I'm also going to ransom some prisoners as well. See if we can just keep our head above water, basically, by constantly ransoming prisoners. Except this one. This one's going to fight for us with 150 of our gold. Maybe not the best plan, but there you go. Uh, I'm going to merge those ones together. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Uh, just need to get these armies to move wherever they need to go. Uh, designated regent. That's going to be somebody who doesn't like us for the hopes that we can get some money out of them, like Lithuania. Right. Carry on. Uh, our person didn't win. There are some hostile sieges. Wait, why are we hostile to them? Oh, because we were raiding them, I see. Wait, why are we still hostile to them, actually? I mean, they're probably fighting my vassals, I would guess. Yeah, they're fighting my vassals. Makes sense. Um, yeah, there are a couple of conquests here and there of host things and things like that. Ooh, who's attacking this one? Uh, defending against a war for Ingari. Ah, oh, fantastic. So that should be one there. Um, Yuta Sang could potentially be a good target for us. Although I want to give these armies up here a chance to recover because they've been slightly beaten up over recent times. Uh, Intrigue-wise, let's get some more money. Okay. Uh, what's this? We need a new Chancellor. That can be... This person, I guess, but also it means that England doesn't like me anymore because it's a new person in charge of England. He's not very good at anything. You know what? He could probably be my new marshal. Yeah. England, where are you? You're way down in the 15s. You're my new marshal despite having no skill. I'm also going to give you the title of Master of the Bow. Uh, we don't have anybody necessarily good there, but that should mean England's giving us, continuing to bankroll us, basically. Right. I also want to attack the Western Protector at some point, but we have a truce set. Well, do we have a truce? We should have a truce. Hmm. We don't have a truce. Hmm. But they're still going to be difficult to attack. That's, that's, that's the uh, other side of the... Whether we have a truce or not, they're, they're difficult. Because they can spawn 200,000 troops. However, we could probably just surround and siege. It just... Need some thinking about. Right, down here. Uh, who do I want to attack? Uh, Tamalakum here? Are they being... So apparently we've still got that sieged somehow. Hmm. But we're not at war, so... Weird. Um, just seeing if anything here is... To defend against someone's conquest. So that one's the, uh, that was the host claim. That one is in favor of Telim... Oh, yeah, okay, so they're actually in three wars which they're in favor of, pretty much. Well, they've got one that they're going to lose, which is a conquest, and two wars that they're in favor of. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's continue letting our armies reinforce for maybe a couple months. Uh, do I want to be celibate, depressed? Yeah, we'll just be celibate, why not? I'm going to speed the game up as well. Wait, just a little bit for our armies to recharge. The more our armies recharge, the more money we make as well, so it's definitely worth it. I'm also going to get 30 gold there. I'm not going to spend 400 gold on anything. That seems way too expensive. Right. Can I do anything with my great works? Like, can I turn them into money? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. We're just seeing whether there was a way of, like, sacking them for money or something, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Is that my trade post? 
Wait, I actually own a trade post? Oh, and there's a salt mine in it. Hmm. Ooh, are there any other trade posts I can make? That might be worth having a look at. So there are probably a few bits along the Silk Road that I can make trade posts if they're not already made, which they looks like they all are. Yeah, all the Silk Road is already made. Okay, that's fine. Thought I'd just do a little, uh, you know, scan of those, see whether there was anything in particular that might have been good. No. Okay. Hmm. Well, I do have some large armies I can spawn in over here. Let's just have a look. So I can spawn in 15,000. I can spawn in 15,000. Uh, I know Lithuania gets me like 40. That gets me 30 now. Uh, those ones get me 20. I did lower the amount we get from these for more money at one point. So, yeah. Anatolia? 49,000. Okay. So there's definitely some more I can do here. How about... Uh, let's have a look and see what wars I got. I can do a Great Holy War again. Mm. So that is a kingdom up there. Tamilankin. Uh, or Tamil Lakam. Tamil Lakam. I could take that. And that means I never would say Tamil Lakam again. Okay. Uh, I could also Great Holy War for that one down here. Which they don't hold quite as much of. Or Orissa, which they obviously don't hold quite as much of. This one, they hold all of it, this this kingdom up here. It also gives us access to the river, to the Ganges. And the reason I'm very happy about access to the Ganges is it gives us somewhere to sit with supply limits so we don't take attrition. Seems good to me. Ooh, what are the wars up here? Um, Attacking in the Anelia invasion of Kamarupa. Ooh, an invasion is great news for us. And who are you attacking? You're doing a war for Kamarupa, you're doing a war for that. Okay. So Kamarupa seems like it's likely to just come underneath our control without us really having to do anything. Which, you know, works for me. I think I'd like to do this war up here, if possible. So let's have a look at it. Oh, also I can get the men from here, can't I? Another 10,000. Nothing to sniff at. And if I'm attacking up here, it's another 12,000. It's not bad across the board. Let's wait another month just to get a little bit more supply. Also, it means I'm not... Oh, actually, you know, I'm still hostile with these guys. Okay. Never mind. Oh, Buddhist uprising. Lovely. Um, Where are you? Good question. Where are you, Buddhist uprising? Oh, over here, of course. Uh, spawn in troops just to help out. Spawn in troops here. Gonna chuck and charge some people to go and help out here. Um, we don't have an organizer anymore. But hopefully the amount I chucked in to start with should help. Um, yeah, they should help a little bit. Yeah, basically just gives them some numbers to go with to go with their morale. Works for me. Okay, disband. Disband. 100%. Offer peace and force demands. Nice. Uh, can I get some more money? Nope. Okay, right. Tamil Lakam. Uh, Tamil Lakam. Let's declare a war for Tamil Lakam. Uh, it's a small number of people who are in there. Let's declare it. Great Holy War. Right. So, first things first. Raise up the troops in these two, and they are going to go straight down there. Right? They're just going to pick a position go for it. Anyone else I can get here? No. These three are going to try and stay out of the war as much as possible. They're just going to try and reinforce. Uh, so that's fine. Over here. Um, going to get this one. Going to raise up some troops. Uh, apparently this is something we can siege. Probably one of the lower holdings we can siege perhaps. Anyway. You're going to try and attack in there, and this is going to be the one that we run, because that's a very um, potentially dangerous fight. Those two are going to go in there, just until I know where people are heading. Uh, actually, you might head in there, you head in there. Right, and we'll stick a, a leader in charge. Right, down here, much easier. Uh, you can head in there. Um, I don't think I need anyone else. You can head in there. I mm, see so you can head in. Yeah, you head in there. 
I'm just thinking, actually. I'm going to raise 45,000 or 49,000. So they don't need any help. So you can head in that one. 20,000 can head there. Uh, and the other 28,000, they're going to make their way up here to join in with that bit. Zia, we've already risen up. And the Hasafid men here going to rise up and they're going to head along like that. Good. Let's go. Get people into where we need them to go. Right. A uh, couple battles. That's okay. Somebody's getting men to attack my territory for a weak claim on a county. I'm just... I don't know what to say. Um, yep. It's not even my fault this time. Okay. So that one's sieging. We got two going in there. Okay. Anything happening up here? Nobody should attack us up here because these guys aren't even joining in with the fight. Yeah, okay. We have people in position. We have more people joining. It's good. Right. There's a Buddhist uprising. Oh, and we finished that siege. So some people should be moving off of that one now. Uh, okay. That's a large army that we're against. I'm not overly worried about it, but it's a large army that we're against. How are you doing in your invasion? 9%, but to be fair, they probably haven't done anything yet, so. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, they have started sieging, so they are doing something. Right. Ooh, we won a siege, this one. Uh, wait a couple days and get the next siege. Or next assault. This one can't assault, okay. Uh, that's all looking good. So we have people sitting up on these ones. All of that's looking absolutely fine. That should be a nice quick siege. Right, back up the top here. Uh, yeah, it's going fine. Going fine. Right, I have 39,000. I'm going to move them up there. Just to go and actually siege something and be useful. And salt this one down. It's all the land we took before and it's all diseased, so... There should be pretty much nobody defending it, so it works for me. Right. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Assault. Nice. You can head up and defend with that guy. Um, do I have Asturias' troops? I do. I just move you back round. In fact, I'll just move you round as well there. Just trying to avoid taking some attrition there. Unnecessarily. Um... You're doing fine. You can be assaulted down. Nice. This one can be assaulted down as well, probably. Oh, you've converted somewhere. Nice. Uh, so that's down here. I'm converting to, um, yeah, all to my religion. Back up here. 40,000. Can't do anything there. Assault down. Right. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Assault down. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll be friends with that guy. Why not? Wait a few days. You want to surrender? We surrender under these terms. Accept. Okay. We got it. Nice. Great. Su successful. Great holy war. Quick save. Because that was a very slow uh, amount of land we got. Although we did get a hundred um, new uh, holdings. Which is great. It's really expanded what we got up here. It's made... Uh, Tamil Lakam a lot weaker. Uh, yeah, perfect. That's what I was after. So, immediately I'm just going to disband these guys. I don't really care if I don't get full levy recharges. It's not a big deal to me. Uh, this one is just going to sit down there. Um, you're going to sit there. You're going to come over here and sit. Uh, now I can go and sit next to the river, which means I can reinforce myself next to the river. As in get reinforcements. Uh, these guys. Apparently I'm about to be attacked. But I think because I pieced out the war. I don't get attacked. Which works for me. Uh, raise up men here. Oh yeah. We'll put in leaders. Just be ready to uh, fight them when they appear. Also. Uh, yeah. Let's just do that. Even if they back off. They don't really have a lot of a choice. I shouldn't have unpaused. People are going to be very unhappy at me. Um, hmm. I was thinking I was going to give this to Enelia here, potentially. All of this new land. Or I could give it to Zia. Zia are massive. 
Hmm, but I can't give them land. Yeah, I guess Anelia seems fine. They are um, Indo-Aryan, which is the same as the culture here. So that works perfectly for our culture giving away thing plans. Let's give them this land. It also means that um, they're going to have a ton of land um, or a ton of extra power available for their invasion. And we want their invasion to succeed. So works for me. Um, I'm not really sure what land I'm giving away there, but all of it is theirs. So works for me. Right. Yeah, that bit. That one. Do I have some land down here? Oh, I have this land down here now, which I'm giving away. You know what? Still, it's all yours. You can have it all. Any new land is yours. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, you can have that one. You can have that one. Also means I'm going to have a very powerful vassal who likes me a lot. Which is a great position to be in when you have factions against you. Yeah. Keep giving away the land. And it means that we're going to have a powerful vassal whose land, whose troops we can just raise wherever we like, which works as well. That one, give it away. The two that start with P's, we'll give them away. This one that starts with a Q. Okay. Then we have one that starts with an S, but not Scalovia, because that would mean that our money problems would become even worse. Right. Uh, that one... That one. I forgot to give away the lower holdings there, probably. Yep. It's because I didn't click give away the lower holdings, so now I need to give away the lower holdings manually. But that is alright. I can do that. I have the technology. Right. Uh, next two are... Starts with a T. And starts with an S. There we go. Perfect. So all of that land's now been given away. We're now back at the normal amount of land, and they are looking a lot stronger. And look at where we have some lands now, right next to Lanka. Wouldn't that just be a nice, easy war? Hmm, I think that would be a nice, easy war. Oh, isn't that great? I agree with myself. Just have a look here. Okay. So I might be able to do this war without using our actual, uh, without using our um, retinue. Is that really all the troops I have? I Probably it's because of where I disbanded them, I imagine. Yeah. I'm just checking it's not because of the disease. No, it's because I disbanded them weirdly. I'd probably do the same with the Hasifids, though. Could be good, yeah. How many men does uh, Lanka have? 15,000. Plus they get all of the spawned in troops. But I can also bring, well, an extra 2,000. Let's wait, let's wait a month, okay? Or two months. I know we don't have an awful lot of time left in game, but, you know, it will wait. We'll wait. Get everything we can out of this. Right. Quick save. Just so we're in a good position. Lanka seems great. It's just another person who's not attacking us. Then that also allows us. Oh, that's actually. Oh, no. This one is independent. We could then attack the Rudder Kingdom here as well. And that gets us that whole island down there, which is just great. It's another two people who can't join in. Right, how's the war against Kamarupa going? Um, they're attacking someone in a vassalization war. Oh, it looks like the invasion ended. Oh, did I invalidate the invasion? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, they're attacking the revolt. Uh, mm, not the best plan in the world. Right, let's win against this thing. I forgot I had raised army levies, so I couldn't attack anyway. Right, get rid of that one. Offer peace and force demands. Nice. I think it's worth attacking down there. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? Attacking... Oh, that's an internal war. Get rid of it. Enforce realm peace. Nobody's for it. Because they're being swayed by being the malcontents. Okay. I need some loyalists. My chancellor I can fire. For a loyalist chancellor. We got a loyalist chancellor? Yeah. Hmm. No. <laughs> she, she's my... Um, she's one of my commanders. This person's loyalist, though. Right. How do you feel about in Realm Peace now? Yeah, pretty good, right? Let's go for it. 
Nice. We'll wait for that to fire in four months' time. Yep, still four months' time, apparently. That's fine. Just wait for this autosave to go through. That should now be three months. Yep. Just want to wait for the whole thing to go through here. Yep. Two months, and then we should be good to declare a war. I, I just want to make sure that my vassals aren't fighting each other right now. 47 days. Still going. If truce is expiring with the revolt, interesting. 300 gold? Oh. Fantastic. Thank you for the 300 gold. Very good timing, really. Uh, I can gain 200 gold here, apparently. Um, and I grant him the county of Scalovia? No. Uh, and I become rivals with Pulgar? I mean, alright. Whatever. I lost stress and became greedy, so I get more money. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I couldn't really afford to do anything else there. Uh, other than do... I, I couldn't afford to give him 200 gold. It's just not going to happen. Uh, factions aren't really that large against me right now, which is nice. Uh, I think I'm going to attack Lanka. Who's attacking them right now? Defending against the priest hater in somebody's war. Defending against that in a Jir holding war. Okay, let's declare a war. Uh, holy war for that land. Go. Okay. So... Raise up the troops. Raise the boats. Get the troops on the boats. Do the same with the Hasifids. Uh And I'm deliberately not going to uh, use my retinue for this war because that way uh, I can keep my retinue and let them reinforce and hopefully save me some money. Range betrothal. Uh, no. My granddaughter is going to marry um, like everyone else in tradition, a random person who's the same age as her. There we go. Uh, and she can have a martial education, as is tradition. Right. Still reinforcing for all of those ones. Designated regent required. Um, King of Lithuania. And we'll give them another honorary title. Master of the Blade. Right. Makes them like me a little bit. We have our boats heading over. I don't know if I'm hostile to anyone on Lanka, but that's okay. We we can find out soon. Oh, I'm being attacked here by a Bektashi order. Please go away. I don't really want to fight you. You about to attack me over here? No. Okay, good. That's what I thought. This army hasn't really reinforced. I'm assuming they t they're taking attrition while I'm not looking. So I'm going to move them uh, around this way. Yeah. Okay. Back down here. First of our boats are arriving. Uh, we might get attacked by a few of these random pl people all over the place, but, you know, as long as we hold our ground, we should be fine. Yeah, if they just stand there, they're generally fairly good. Right. Uh, get the on boats. Oh, not off. Get the off boats onto land. Uh, you can lead. Actually, you can lead the center. You can lead the next one. And you can lead the next one. Head in here. What's the war you're in? Is your holding war? Yeah, I'm not really interested in the de jure holding war. Okay. Attack in here. Right. Just uh, siege this one down. We are out of money. That's okay, because when we go out of money, we stop paying for a retinue. Temporarily, which means that we then gain a ridiculous amount of money. And it just circles back round again. Yeah. Is that retinue without reinforcement still costs that much money? Oh, wow. Yeah, they are expensive, aren't they? Okay. Hmm. Uh, I might just stop retinue reinforcement right now. Okay. Uh, we'll see. Oh, we're gaining money again. It's going up. It's going up real quickly. Okay, um, we did capture some people. Let's get some money for them. Assault that down. Uh, nice thing is about um, having us as a leader is that we get a bunch more people in each of these sieges. So um, we should, in theory, get the most amount of money possible out of each of these sieges. Right. Another one down. Uh, wait a little bit. I just don't want to help them with the de jure holding war. Right. Uh, how long is that going to take? 
five ticks, that's okay. Um, I'd like it if the Azure Holding War would just go away, actually. But it's not really looking like that's uh, a possibility. Maybe what I'll do is the moment that I think the war is over, as in I think we've won, I'll just declare on them. As in the moment they start surrendering, I'll just declare a war on these guys. And that should work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you willing to surrender now? Nope. Okay. We have infidels against us, as always. Uh, let's get some more money. Okay. Seize this one down. This is our money-making time, because I don't have my retinue reinforcing, so it's a little bit worrying. We're losing sieges, but as long as they're not attacking our troops, we're good. Yeah. Right, should get another one here. Perfect. Can I assault it? Five days. I'll take that. Right, assault. Uh, we got any people we can get money from? Yeah, a few. Nice. Wait a couple days. Assault. The one to surrender. We got 2,000 gold randomly. Okay. Who are these guys? They're them. Okay. Means I'd need to attack this kingdom. Am I already at war with them? No. Okay. So I need to attack them to get that last little bit of land. Um... Let's defeat this army that's coming in here in a second. So probably assault this down, defeat the army, then we're good. Uh, I just want to assault that down, which I have. Defeat the army that's now here, then disband these troops. Uh, and then ideally I want to go to war with this kingdom. Right. Keep them. Make some more money this way. Disband the troops. Right. Now that I have a 100% war score, we are going to declare a war on these guys. We're going to declare a war for, like, this land. Why not? Council votes no. Turning a favor to Mercalis. Returning a favor to Prince Mayor. Well, I can obviously switch her over just by firing her. So we'll do that. So he's now in charge. He's Lithuanian, right? He's Lithuanian. So might as well just convert anywhere. Doesn't matter. Um, how are we looking in terms of this war? Because I need it. 2-4. Okay. Um, 3 against. Bulgaria, my rival, should probably just be fired. Because there's nothing, he's never going to be on my side. Valencia seems like a good choice here. They are is better at the job. Oh, excuse me? That's a very large host. Um, it's nice that they got to spawn on my capital. That seems... Um, trying to think of a nice way of saying that. Seems fair. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, well, merge up over here. I'll deal with that problem in a second. Actually, you know what? No... Because I forgot to declare the war first. Right. Declare a war for that land. Good. I don't really care what land I'm going to declare for. If I lose that war, who cares? Right. Raise up our three troops here. Merge. And then attack over this way. Yeah, they literally spawned on my capital. Look, Because they're all running for my capital right now. Okay. Uh, go beat him up. Go, go chase him down, beat him up. Okay. Over this way. And now I want to raise up these troops again. Oh, I, I need to disband the boats. How many do I get back? Uh, I need to, you know, disband them. Hopefully we have enough. Uh, nice. We don't actually have as many troops as we started with here either, so... Okay. Do I have any more? I have Lithuania here. Nice. Okay. Grab them. Move them down here. Okay. Back up this way. Looking to defeat these ones here. Just chase them down. Yeah. Right. Back over here. <laughs> Boats are making their way over. 
I'm looking for. We are about to join in with this battle, which should be the end of that army. Or enough of that army. Yeah, there we go. 100% because we captured the guy. Offer peace and force demands. Right. Disband those troops. Don't offer peace and force demands. That's one I need to worry about. Right. Back over this way. These ones. Merging up. I'm still okay leaving my... Um, yeah, leaving my troops not going into this land for a second or two. Everyone's about to be here. Nice. Okay. So I'm now hostile to this one. So I should be able to siege the land. Hopefully. We'll see. Now that I'm hostile to them. Which I am now able to siege this land. And it shouldn't take very long. You converted a subject. Good to see. Okay. Back up to this side of the uh, war. Let's just think about it. Oh, I am actually being attacked again by the Bektashi Order. They just seem to non-stop attack that one province. Okay. Uh, you head over there. I so see you head down there. You head in there. You head in there. Did I grab two of them there? Yeah, I did. Okay. That's fine. How are we looking up here? Fairly good. Oh, that land's been taken. Nice. Okay, how's the invasion going? The invasion is going well. Nice. Okay. Back down this way. Bektashi Order has failed to kill my retinue for the last time. Well, maybe. We'll see. Uh, but while he's here, does he want to give me some money? Yeah, nice. Good. Um, this one. Siege it. Okay. We got some money for the Bektashi Order leader. Everyone's going into position. Uh, I do have some troops over here I can potentially move in. So that one's going to move in there. That one's going to move in there. Uh, I'm going to raise up um, them in here. And then these ones, I've already risen them up. So that's fine. Right. They're all going into a position. Back down here. I want to siege this for as much as I can. I want to take this whole lot. Uh, this one, why don't we give you a martial education? Right. If I can assault down the lower holdings, I'll be so happy. Come on, show me if I can assault. That's all I want to do. Not possible to assault. Oh no. It's going to take forever. I should have just declared war on these guys to start with. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, They're moving in. This one? Oh yeah, you can move in there. That works for me. As long as I have troops in most of the places I need to go, that works fine. Uh, Back over here. He's just going. Okay. It's going quickly. Back up here. Uh, give you a struggle education. We have a lot of them going over here, which I'm hoping will just allow us to take the land uh, once we're finished with this war, given how quickly the sieges are going over here. Uh, wait three days. That's what I'm looking for. Assault. Wait one day. Uh, right. Assault. Wait one day. Assault. And then wait one day. Assault. Nice. Now we have 100%. They have none land and force demands. Right. So we've taken all of that land now. Um, I'm now just going to move in there. This is, of course, all uh, part of uh, here. So we'll grant this over. Including the lower titles. Otherwise, I have to give away the lower titles independently, which is something I don't want to have to do. Yeah. Good. So that land's now been given away. And we don't need to worry about it anymore. Right, so these guys are going to immediately head in there. I can move the troop, uh, the boats in there and disband them. Right. Back over here. How are we looking? Fairly good? Fairly good. Right. All the sieges are continuing. So we should get it um, once this round of sieges ends. Probably. You'd think, anyway. I do like having the little staging post down here to attack. That one seems like a very good one potentially to get some land in. In fact, all of it's fairly good to get some land in. Right, um, 100 golds or repair a masterpiece. Uh, we'll repair it. We are making a lot of money right now. Our retinues aren't reinforcing, but we're making a ton of money. And just getting a little bit of a um, backlog in terms of our money. Or like a um, a war chest, you could say, would be good. I'm going to ask my, mon uh, my friend for monetary help and hope he doesn't join the war. Let's see what he says. Um... Nope, he didn't give me monetary help. Okay. 
Right. Uh, offer peace and force demands? No. Nope. Okay. We'll continue sieging. He'll surrender. We surrender. Accept. Nice. Look at that. A little bit of extra land. You can head back up to the river. Um, that works for me. Uh, I'm just going to disband all of these troops because I don't want to spend the time moving them out of the provinces. Right. You head here. Actually, we need to... Yeah, actually, that's fine. Yeah. You head here. You head here. You head here. It works for me. Got a lot of extra land in that little bit there. They're disbanded. They're disbanded. Look at that. Time to end the episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.